Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about the different faults that occurs in a power system. We'll also talk about symmetrical and asymmetrical fault. So make sure you watch the video till the end to understand all the details. So first of all uh, let us understand what is a fault and to know that consider the simple example that you can see on your screen. Here we have a AC supply which we have connected to a light bulb. Now the intended path for current I is from the source then to the light bulb and then back to the source. So this is the intended path for the current. Now let's say uh, one of the live part of this circuit is now touching the ground right so here you can see now what has happened is the current is diverted from its intended path now it is flowing through this low impedance path which is offered by this red line now if you want to know what is impedance which is the term most commonly used in ac circuits i have a detailed video on that uh, you can check it out link is provided down in the description now since there has been a fall, uh, there has been uh, you know the live part is touching the ground and as a result the intended path for the current is now disturbed and as a result the light bulb is not glowing and current is flowing through this red path right here and this type of situation wherein the current is diverted from its intended path is what we call as fault right it is very easy to understand so a situation in which current in a closed circuit is diverted from its intended path is called a fault. Now since the fault impedance is very very less, the amount of current in case of a fault becomes very high and we call that situation as abnormal situation or abnormal condition. It can reach to many kilo ampere. So that is what we call as fault in very simple language. Now there can be multiple reason why current is diverted from its intended path. There are multiple reasons for that. Let us have a look at some of them. So one there can be a cable breakdown which is causing the current to go to a different direction than its intended path or there can be a lightning stroke which is causing uh, the fault or maybe the flood situation or high speed wind uh, that will cause transmission line to you know two transmission lines connecting each other then there can be trees falling on the line this is generally seen in the distribution network and also to some extent in the transmission network or a snowfall that happens on the equipment and also on the transmission and distribution lines or there can be situations like earthquake now if you see majority of the situation right here is natural in nature but there can be a situation in which the equipment itself failed or equipment malfunctioned and that can cause current to divert from its intended path and which is nothing but the fault or it could be a man-made situation also for example if somebody is carrying out maintenance and during that period uh, the connection of the equipment is done wrong so that can also cause uh, fault and as a result in that case current can go up to a very high level right so these are some of the reasons why a fault can occur now let us talk about the different types of fault that we have seen uh, in the power system so on top level if you see the there are two main types of fault one is the open circuit and then there is a short circuit first let's talk about the open circuit and then we will also talk about short circuit in few minutes so Talking about open circuit, let's say we have three phases R, Y and B and one of the phase is broken down in between and as a result uh, the current will not flow beyond this point, it is getting stopped, it is opened basically. So this is nothing but a open circuit fault and if you are interested to know in detail about open circuit then I have a detailed video on that, again I will provide link for it down in the description. Now here you can see the R phase is broken down. So out of three one phase is down so this fault is called as one conductor open fault now in open circuit what will happen is since this conductor is broken the load of this conductor will be then on y and b phase so definitely these two phases will have to carry additional load 
as a result the temperature of the conductor will increase and that will create further issues in the power system so definitely this falls also needs to be avoided or there can be a situation uh, let's say in that case y phase is also broken down now here you can see out of three two phases are broken down and such type of fault is called as two conductor open fault two conductors are open or maybe there can be a situation where all three phases are gone down and that fault we call it as three conductor open fault now the severity of this fault is not high as the short circuit fault definitely short circuit faults are more severe when we compare it with the open circuit fault right so that is the open circuit fault now let us talk about the short circuit now short circuit faults are basically divided into two types again one is symmetrical fault and another one is asymmetrical fault let us first try to understand the concept of what is symmetrical and what is asymmetrical so symmetrical is very easy to understand basically so what do we mean by symmetrical symmetrical means both the cycles that is positive cycle as well as the negative cycle are equal so uh, the peak point of both the cycles are equal in that case we call it as a symmetry a symmetrical situation and that is generally seen in the balanced load now you can see here on the image also the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle are exactly equal and opposite to each other and such situation is called as symmetrical this happens in the balanced load and opposite to that asym in a asymmetrical situation one of the cycles will be bigger than the other or in simple language we can say the positive half cycle and negative half cycle are not equal to each other and that is not in symmetry and that is what we call as asymmetrical and this is generally seen where the system is not balanced again if you are interested in knowing what is balanced and unbalanced system then i have again a very easy to understanding video on that link is provided down in the description so understood the basics of symmetrical and asymmetrical very easy to understand and based on this the faults are basically divided based on this situation which we will see in few minutes now now first talking about the symmetrical fault the first fault in the symmetrical is line triple line fault so l l l triple line fault now in this fault what is happening is all the three phases are somehow getting connected to each other and the fault current that is flowing through the system is equal in every phase and that's why this fault is called as symmetrical fault so earlier i mean before fault the system was already stable already balanced and before fault also the system is still balanced because all the three phases are connected together and as a result equal amount of fault current is flowing through all the three phases and that's why it is in perfect symmetry and hence it is called as symmetrical fault clear now you may ask if in symmetrical fault the system is still balanced does that mean this is a good fault well no no fault is good actually or rather i would say this fault triple line fault is the most severe fault that power system can see or power system can witness and based on this fault uh, the rating of circuit breaker is decided in majority of the cases but occurrence of this fault in power system is very very rare uh, if you see only 1 to 2% of fault are symmetrical in nature out of total 100% faults only 1 or 2% fault are in symmetrical nature but if this happens then it is a very you know severe fault the short circuit current in case of symmetrical faults are very very high right so this is the first type of fault which is symmetrical that is triple line fault now next one more fault is there and that is called as triple line to ground fault now in this fault all the three phases are connected but along with that the ground is also connected and this is again also one of the severe fault but occurrence of the fault is very very rare uh, when we compare it with the other faults so two types of fault in symmetrical triple line fault and triple line plus ground fault clear that is symmetrical faults now moving on we have a symmetrical fault so the first fault that you can see is 
line to ground fault now in this fault you can see one phase and the ground is connected so here in our example y phase and the ground is connected so this is called as single line to ground fault and this is the most common type of fault that you will see in the power system almost 70 to 80 percent of fault are line to ground in nature the severity of this fault is not high as the symmetrical fault that we have seen uh, but this is the most common type of fault that you will see line to ground fault again there is one more variation in that and that is a double line fault now here you can see y phase and b phase are connected together again it is a symmetrical fault because your r phase is healthy and y and b phases are not in healthy situation so definitely current flowing through all the three phases will be different which will result in the asymmetry clear so that is double line to double line fault again there is one more variation in that and that is double line to ground fault now here y and b phases are connected together plus the ground is also into the picture so this is a double line to ground fault clear and these all these are asymmetrical fault the positive half cycle and negative half cycle in such faults will not be equal and hence causing the asymmetry now let us quickly revise the different faults that we have seen so there are two main types of faults uh, in the power system one is open circuit another one is short circuit in open circuit we have seen one conductor open two conductor open and three conductor open the severity of this fault was, are not high as the short circuit faults the second type of fault are short circuit in nature uh, and again if you want to know in detail about short circuit i have a video on that link i'll provide down in the description so short circuit fault are classified into two uh, different faults that is symmetrical fault and asymmetrical fault in symmetrical fault we have seen two types of fault triple line fault and triple line plus ground fault the occurrence of symmetrical fault is very rare in power system only 1 to 2 percent but the severity of these faults are the highest right and the second type of fault is asymmetrical fault which is we have seen line to ground fault which is the most common type of fault in power system then there is a double line fault and then double line to ground fault so these are the faults that you will generally see in the power system i hope uh, you found something interesting in this video and you have understood the different types of fault that happens in the power system if you like the video do click on the like button and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing this and that because that also really helps the channel to grow further and i really really appreciate your support on that also if you are interested in the courses that is created by me you can go and check out courses.theelectricalguide.in you will find easiest courses on different topics of electrical engineering on my website so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then make sure you keep watching keep learning